I'll mention it will be down in this everything that I mentioned in this video will be down in the district oh my god hey guys if you're new to my channel my name is Ty and I go by Ty is typing and if you're coming back thanks for coming back even though I've been gone for over I don't know how many weeks if you're here you're here because you want to see how I achieve this look this is my attempt of doing an affordable super glam makeup look i used a new foundation well new to me but it is still pretty new that i'm really loving it looks really good on my skin um i also use a new highlighter and um i use a lot of staple products that i love that i would incorporate to have a full glam that's all affordable products by affordable products i don't just mean um your local drugstore like Walmart, Rite Aid, CVS, Target, and things like that. I also mean products that doesn't break the bank. You're gonna hear all products that will keep your wallet and yourself happy. And as you can see, this look is pretty bomb if I don't if I do say so myself. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, please keep on watching. But before you watch, make sure that you hit that like button and you subscribe and share this video. So if you want to see how I got this affordable full coverage glam, make sure that you keep on watching because we're going to get into it right now. Ew. This is the concealer that I'm going to be using for priming my lids and also for going underneath my eyes and concealing everything else. When this concealer was first out, I was so bothered because I was like, I could not try it because I didn't have my shade. But it is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm in the shade tan for um, my under eye and I did pick up caramel and I like using caramel when I want to um, brighten my um, my eye base to make shadows pop let's prime these lids and get it together so that we can put the eyeshadows on and for this concealer literally a little bit goes a long way and I'm using my um, real technique expert concealer brush to uh, blend that out and then I'll set it with the same brush as well too You don't want to apply too much concealer either because you know you don't want your eyes you want your eyeshadows to stick but also you don't want um, your eyelids to be oversaturated to where you can't even blend on them so once you blend it out your um, your eye base with the concealer you want to set it if you're using an eye primer you don't have to typically set those and I have not personally used or found a eye primer that I can get from the drugstore that I can recommend to you guys so my best bet is just to say to use concealer and that's even when using luxurious brands I think concealers work just as great if not better than a lot of these eyeshadow primers on the market if you can't find a good base and if you don't want to spend that extra coin use the concealer that you're using under your eyes to set your um your eyelids before you um, start to under your eyeshadow looks so once you have blended out your concealer, you want to set it with a great powder. My favorite powder to set it with lately has been the Maybelline Fit Me Loose. Girl, I got an eyelash on this. It's the Maybelline Loose Fit Me Powder, and this is in the shade Deep. I typically just use whatever on this because you don't want to set it too much to where um, none of the pigmentation from your shadow show. So I'm going to take... Uh, one of my favorite brushes to set my eye base and also to set under my eye is the uh, setting brush by Real Technique and I'm just going to take a little bit of whatever's on there and just set it so eyeshadow palettes um I think when it comes to drugstore products for me personally and I know that a lot of brands are doing some great jobs like Milani just came out with a bomb eyeshadow palette well it looks bomb and I want to try it but for me I feel like for eyeshadow palettes that's where our eyeshadows period I feel like that's where it's lacking in the drugstore department because we want something that you know of course our money's worth but I feel like that they have the capability to not even only make like bomb complexion products but to also make bomb eyeshadow products so I feel like you know a lot of drugstores are really stepping it up but um, I have a couple I have one that you can probably find well I know you can find in stores and others that are online and you guys can probably guess what two of them are one of the first palettes that I think is very affordable the morphe dare to create 39a palette I bought this um 
uh, last December when it first released or even earlier. I love it way more than a 35-0. You have a wide range of colors to select from. So I think this is great for beginners and for people who are even like advanced or makeup artists to take with them as they're creating looks for clients and even wanting to get into color. So you have a wide range of like um, these are like your transition shades and that's what I love so much even for like um, makeup artists is that you have a wide range of transition shades for different complexions as well as a really good color story. You have your cool tones, you have warm tones, and you have really good pops of colors. You have some blue, some teal, some greens, some um, khaki colors, some purples and reds and maroons, your browns and stuff like that. So I think this is a great palette and I think it's around 36 bucks. You can find it in the Morphe store or you can order it online. It's a great palette for beginners who want to really get into makeup. And I feel like this is a palette that honestly you're okay with just using just using this palette. You don't have to dip into other palettes. So the next palette that I'm about to show you guys, I put, I did a review on this and I really love this palette and it's very travel friendly. It's the City Mini um, palette. It's by Maybelline and this is the Shayla, um, the X Shayla collection one. And although this is more on the purple tone family and you may have to dip into other palettes for a transition shade because that's what I have to do. I think that this is one of the top drugstore um, palettes out there that you get um, great pigmentation and you don't feel like you wasted a cup um, wasted about 10 bucks on it i don't know the exact price range on this but i'll link it down below look you have your your plums some golds right here and right here some more uh purples a uh, um a taupey champagne shade and a black shade to deepen it up so that if you want to do a night look later on you can definitely dip dip into that black shade and just deepen up your crease a bit. the next palette that i'm talking about i did a review on this as well and this is what i'm using for the tutorial today because i have been loving this palette so much i get so many compliments when i do looks with this palette and it is the makeup shayla x color pop perception palette this palette is super bomb first of all the packaging is lit and for 25 bucks you get like a lot of great shadows but this is how the palette looks and it comes with a mirror and what I love about it so much for one it's travel friendly you see how small it is compared to my head even though I have a big head it has a mirror in there and also you have some great transition shades you have some great warm tones you have some great colors some plums and purples right here and you have a pop of um, color, some more deeper tones too over here and some greens and stuff there's colors in here for every type of girl or guy whatever type of look you want to do and I just love this palette and I think Shayla did an amazing job on this. It's a very um, off tan, um, tan brownish tone and I'm just going to use that as our transition shade. Now the next shade that I'm going to um, after blending it out is thick right here which is a very orange like a true orange tone. I'm using the same brush all I'm doing is just tilting my head back and just really sitting it into the crease. This isn't going to be an in-depth tutorial like for real for real this is just showing products that I think are great that you guys can use. If you guys want me to do a more in-depth tutorial about how to apply eyeshadow for your eye type or my eye type if you have a similar eye type like mine then let me know. So now that we blended out our crease with um, the shade Culture and the shade Thick, um, typically I will go in with Revenge, but um, just to switch it up, I'm going to go in with Played Out and I'm switching brushes again I use the NYX 17 brush to blend out my transition shade and to deepen up my crease now I'm going in with a different brush this is the Morphe M506 brush this is a very affordable brush I want to say it was about five bucks online and as you can see it's very tiny and very detailed um, I feel like if you guys do want to like purchase brushes elf has great brushes for eyeshadows as well as Morphe um, I, I don't know any other um, not um, oh elf wet and wild and morphe have great affordable brushes i love morphe i think you get more than the you get more uh, more quality than what you pay for their brushes 
for eye brushes can go up to as high as I think eight bucks at the most um, but I think they're great so I'm gonna take this shade plate out right here and I'm going to deepen up my crease even more see the shade the, the the pigmentation is there and it's it's super blendable there's no skipping to it and it just blends seamlessly okay so now that I've cut my crease to how I want to cut it I'm um, trying to decide which shade I want to go in with I don't know if I want to go in with either Diva or TF I'm going to go in with Diva and I'm going to use another Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M124 brush. Can you guys see the pigmentation here? Like, it's so pretty. I haven't even, like, uh, sprayed it with any type of water. And I left a little bit of space right here and right here because I'm going to blend it out with uh, played out at the end so it has a good transition. But also, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a mix between Unbothered and Spill the Tea, um, just um, to do a gradient effect. I didn't go in with Played Out next because I want to use the same lid and I don't want it to disrupt the lid on this side. So I'm going to do this lid next and then I'm going to come back. Um, and probably um, show you guys the lashes and stuff like that for real. After that, I typically go in with liquid liner. Um, whether if I'm winking my li uh, my liner or not, I like to go in with liquid liner because I do wear false lashes. And when I wear false lashes, um, I like to at least conceal up there so that when I put them on, you can't see the band. And, and this is so bad because it's discontinued, but this is the only drugstore liner that I have. And you can't even see the label on it, but it's the um, NYC Liquid Liner. And I know I can hear y'all screaming, people who watch this and they're probably like, girl, that is discontinued. But this is the only drugstore liner that I really love and I really like. Um, I haven't really found anything else that I like from the drugstore. Um, you can honestly go in with a cold liner like what you use um, in your waterline. But this is what I use, so I'm going to go in with this. I don't know if I want to wing my liner or not, but um, this is what I'm using. And I'm going to be extremely quiet for this because I can't mess this up. I, this is like... Um, I did my liquid liner, didn't wing it out, just wanted to do enough to where it can conceal the band when I put my lashes on. So the lashes that I love using, I typically do use more affordable lashes just because I haven't really got it in me to buy Lily Lashes and um, Velour Lashes and Mink Lashes that cost 25 and up because... When it's time to pull my credit card out or my debit card out, I'm like, you know, do do I need to do that to my account right now? Um, that I've been loving so far, and I got them from my drugstore. I'm gonna see if I can that I've been getting from my from my beauty supply um store is I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find them online, and they're only two ninety nine, y'all. And it is the Grace three D Volume Lashes, and um these are the lashes right here they're very fluffy they're very full they're very also another pair of lashes that i picked up are these envy iconic 3d lashes these are super pretty as well too but i think i'm going to go in with the um well i'm going to use the grace 3d volume lash in the style 3d 67 it's another style that i'm gonna link below that i think is super bomb and that I wore a while back when I went to brunch with um, a lot of my um, sisters from my sister circle. And um, I couldn't find them because they're that popular. But I'm going to go in with this style right here. And I'm going to apply these lashes and be right back. And we're going to go on to the complexion. So first things first, you want to prime. And since I have combination oily skin, 
I like to focus on primers that are more so into filling in my pores and I'm ratifying. What I'm using today is the NYX Angel Veil um, um, Primer. <laughs> foundation I typically wear either NARS all day luminous is all day luminous no it's the, it's the newest NARS or Lancome but for drugstore my favorite foundation has been the Maybelline fit me foundation the matte poreless one but what I want to try today is the is the new Maybelline um, what is it called Maybelline Superstay full coverage foundation this is a full coverage foundation so um, I, I heard it's really really full coverage so I'm just going to take one pump which is pretty a lot which is that much and I'm going to just um, dot it around my face and blend it out. I'm going to use my Morphe RG6 brush to blend this out. person it looks really good um, you can honestly stop right here but I want to build it up a little bit more so I'm gonna add one more pump focusing more so on areas I want to cover especially this right here I don't know if you guys saw it in the beginning of the video but someone came to visit um, I don't know who invited her I didn't ask her to come so far I like it. It it like basically like melts into the skin which I like a lot. That's the only thing that I have a problem with when it comes to drugstore um, foundations and sometimes even concealers is that when they go deeper they go a bit too on the orange side. I want them to the extend this uh, more because I think the deepest shade is my shade honestly which um, I feel like if they can deepen up the Fit Me one, they can definitely de deepen this one up even more. So this is two full pumps of that foundation. And I think it looks really, really good for two pumps. You get a nice uh, coverage of it. And yeah, I think it's super bomb. Concealers, like I said, I'm, um, are either, my favorite ones are either the Age Rewind, the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Tan or the uh, ColourPop No Filter Concealer and uh, Dark Golden. I'm going to go in with this concealer first. This is very full coverage. So I'm going to blend it out with my Sonia Kasha Beauty Blender. This is my first time using it and I heard this is really good from Thomas Halbert so I'm going to try it out and blend out my concealer with this. So to set under my eyes we're going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting um, Finishing Powder in Deep. face we're going to use the Milani translucent medium deep powder this powder is so bomb even replaced my Laura Mercier translucent powder in deep and that's saying a lot I love it there's no flashback and it is a truly good setting powder if you're my complexion or deeper even a little bit lighter I love this powder Okay, so now that we set my face all the way, I'm going to bring that warmth back into my skin. Bronzer right now um, has been the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer, and I had picked it up when I was hanging out with my sis. And I've been loving that bronzer, but what I've been using before then that I like, um, that I still like a lot, and I've been holding it this whole time, it's the ColourPop Press Face Bronzer. I think this is in bits and pieces. Um, I can't I can't open it and tell, but I'll link it down below. And this is the shade. It's a bit warmer and on the reddish tone, like kind of like the um, CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. But I like it because it's not too, too red. Morphe RG6 brush, and I'm going to bronze up my face with it. To 
fill in my waterline with a cold liner. Again, I typically go in with drugstores slash affordable cold liners. The one that I'm using today is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in Sleek Onyx. Now that um, we filled in our liner, and you guys didn't see me doing it on camera because I gotta be really close, we're gonna smudge underneath our lower lash line. And I'm going in with a little bit of thick. Okay, so then I'm going to add um, bottle mascara. I'm gonna go in again with the Maybelline Big Shot. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with highlighter. Um, there's some great drugstore highlighters out there, but I, I, this is not Maybelline sponsored, but Maybelline is killing it when it comes to drugstore, and they have been, they've been that girl for a long time. Highlighters of my choice for drugstore are the Maybelline uh, Master Chrome Highlighters. This is not a Maybelline sponsored video. I wish it was, that'd be pretty lit. But um, this one is in a shade Molten Gold, and this is in a new shade called Molten Peach. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of Molten Peach, and if I feel like it's too, maybe too rosy, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Molten Gold. Before doing that, I'm going to spray my face with a little bit of my Organic Rose Water by Olivia Care. Just to break down that powder, and to get my face prepped. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Look at that highlight. So pretty. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to mix it. I think I'm fine with this, actually. Now this next step is definitely optional. And I know this can be scary for people, but it's blush. Um, again, Maybelline and L'Oreal be killing with the brush blushes, but I'm using the Maybelline blush in the uh, shade Berry. And I'm just going to do a very light wash. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques um, blush brush for this look. Okay, we're almost, 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 almost done. Going on lips. I typically like doing a nude lip, and I'm going to do a nude lip for this look. Um, my favorite lip liner is the MAC Cosmetic, um, the MAC Cosmetic Chestnut Liner. But a liner that's a good dupe for it is the Black Opal French Rose Liner. It's more on the cooler side, um, similar to MAC Cosmetics Chestnut. So I'm just going to line and fill in my lips and then go with my lipstick. And I'm going to use, you'll see what lipstick I'll use. So this is the completed look. Um, I know I ended it with me just lining my lips, but just to give you guys a breakdown, I lined my lips with the Black Opal Lip Liner in French Rose. And I also end with, for my lips, I went in with the ColourPop X Makeup Shayla Collection in Quickie. And then for a lip gloss, I put on the NYX Butter Gloss in Pralines. I'm really loving the Maybelline foundation a lot and I feel like this is a great look. And it just goes to show you guys that, you know, you can always buy products in Sephora and Ulta and MAC. But you can also go to um, Walmart, Target, and any other drugstore that you want and find some great products and even online at ColourPop and Morphe and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you guys enjoyed the products that I mentioned. And um, if you guys want to see more looks like them, I'm going to do a, um, like I said, um, a luxurious brands that are worth it or luxurious products that are worth the buy, then let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I love this look so much. It's very similar to a look that I would do if I was going out or something like that. I have clothes on too. It's just the off the shoulder shirt. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Definitely like um, and comment below what was your favorite product and what's something that you're going to pick up. I hope to see you guys next time and thanks for watching. Bye.